How many people remember uh, reading about Loctites in their textbooks so far? A few of you okay? All right, so I want to point out three different types that are most common to our industry. On this fitting right here, you're going to see it has this red material on here. This is called a lock patch. One company in particular that is famous for having lots of fasteners that come with lock patches is Harley-Davidson. You'll see a lot of their fasteners, even in small diameters, especially when you buy parts out of the Screaming Eagle, Eagle catalog or the parts and accessory catalog. They will include chrome fasteners or, or new bolts that they feel um, maybe are better quality than the original or whatnot, and they will already have the Loctite on there. I have gotten into trouble of trusting a lock patch because I don't know how long it sat on the shelf. I do not have a time frame specification to be able to give you to say that this lock patch has a six month life expectancy on the shelf or a year or anything else, but I have gotten into trouble on, on some cylinder studs on Harley Davidson's where I just used the lock patch, threaded it in, and it did not secure. I went back, you know, uh, a day later, and I could take and unthread the bolt by hand. Pretty scary, okay? So I like to rely on this type of locking agent myself. Now, I've had a lot of success with, like, covers, clutch covers, inspection covers, and different accessories, just not engine parts, okay? Kind of seem like there's a difference there between engine part and whatnot. Okay, the other thing that... Uh, uh, we want to look at here is the two different Loctites we commonly use. We got our uh, our red and blue. That's the most common way that Loctite is identified. These Permatex brands here are specified that the blue is for its medium and the red is for its high strength. Typically, red Loctite requires heat to remove the fastener or you take a chance of damaging the threads, uh, either the internal, external, male, female threads, if you try and remove it. Now, a, a lot of times people get the impact out and they'll just, you know, get it out of there. You need to make sure and check the threads. We, we can't always apply heat. What if we have electrical components or rubber components really oh. close to that fastener? We don't have that luxury. And that's why the manufacturers will often tell us that when we apply a Loctite, they want us to, let's see if I have a smaller one here. I have some that I brought from home couple different styles here that I want to talk about and I have these literally here just for demonstration purposes sometimes you'll buy a component and you'll have a Loctite that'll come in a package like this and it's meant to get just enough to put that accessory on you're going to squeeze that out and they will tell you in the instructions apply three drops of um, this part number here the high strength uh, part number 27140 or uh, Loctite's one of our real popular brands well they will say apply three drops of Loctite 243 or something like that how many people have heard those terms before a few hands going up here so if I take and pour this on like crazy and I get red all the way around the fastener and I put four times the amount required and it's a high strength what am I absolutely gonna have to have to get that apart yeah. Heat, okay? So what they're saying when, when somebody comes to me and says, oh, you use red, you have to have heat to remove it, that's false because if you apply the proper amount of the three drops that they specify, it's going to secure it properly, it's going to do everything it needs to do, and then you don't need the heat to remove it. So is it pretty important to be able to read the directions and know what they say to do? Yes. So you might see applicators like this. These are pretty handy. This is a Loctite brand 275. You take and uh, just put your three drops on there, something. We'll see if there's any in here. One, two, three, let's say. Does that look like a lot of Loctite? Yeah. Looks like a lot. Might be something where maybe on this it's just a drop, but there's an example. So does everybody feel like you, you've got a decent introduction into the patch in the high strength and medium strength? Mm -hmm. Give me some examples of where you'd probably use the red. Mm -hmm. In high torque cases. High torque situations? Crank cases. Crank cases, clutch hub nuts, sprockets. Anything that has a lot of movement against it. Or force or tension or whatnot. Where would you use medium strength? Valve Run covers. Electrical. Caps. Valve covers, body fasteners, something that maybe without some type of loggy, locking agent it might vibrate apart, but it's not meant because it's torqued under a high torque. So this all actually just kind of acts, if you will, like the super glue to hold that together. Now what I want to point out is here's where you're going to get yourself into trouble. Pretty much the majority of mechanics out there rely on the color. Like we said blue, red, and then also you'll hear about green. 
okay? So I wrote on this bottle green, but this is a three bond product. And what you'll look, what you'll notice here is that they don't use the same color patterns like most everybody else uses. They have a red that is a medium strength. And it used to, it used to be kind of a struggle with my technicians because they'd have to read the bottle because there'd be two reds. There was a medium strength red and a high strength red. You think that gets confusing? Yeah. Here's the reality of it. When we buy some of these bigger bottles, this might be, um, I wish I had the receipt in front of me. I think these are 15 or 20 bucks for a bottle like this. There's a lot of Loctite in here. Oh, yeah. If I leave this on its side, if I take it out of the package and I store it like this, it's going to dry up, seal. There's a problem I'm having to poke holes through it all the time. We end up drying out the bottle. There's a really good chance. Okay. So what was uh, nice about these is these were only about five bucks. So in the case that a customer, employee somehow uh, left the bottle on its side, I'm only ruining $5 a product instead of ruining this. So this is why we went to this. We eventually went back to these though, because we just had technicians, especially entry level technicians that were using the wrong product because they weren't reading the bottle. It's when you look at it, it's blue or red, you're going to make that determination pretty quick and you're going to apply that right product. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Uh, rule of thumb, I've always been a, a big fan of putting Loctite on everything, and I've really gotten away from that and just started to put it where they specify. If I have a, a fastener that's not damaged, I apply that fastener in the proper way into good threads to the proper torque, I'm going to be perfectly fine. 